Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. So today we are going to learn how to integrate Choi into our Node.js application. Before, those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we can see that the Choi is the most powerful schema description language and data validator for the JavaScript. Whenever you require a validation into your Node.js application, you can use the Joy into your Node.js application. So let's see how we are going to integrate into your Node.js application. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to create a folder for that one. Make directory uh, Joy integration. Okay. So CD uh, Joy integration. And here we have to npm create a basic structure of node npm init y. Then we have to create a file touch uh, app.js .j, app file we required. Then we have to just uh, open this file in the code base. Okay, it's open. We have an app.js file. So, for, and we have to add the express also in PMI express. Okay. So we have installed this one and in the app.js file, we have to require the express. So first we have to go with express. Then we have to add the const app express. Okay. Then we have to listen that in the port so we have to listening that on the port level so here we have the listening to the port so if i go and just add the 5000 port okay so let's run this one so and node node app.js so you can see that listening to the port it's listening now then we have to install the npm my joy so we have installed the joy okay then we have to go and just add the functionality over here so first we have to go with we have to inst installation is part is done then we have to go with the require so here we have to add the require part in app.js let's go and add require then we have to go with the next one that is the schema validation we have to perform so this is basics validation schema okay where we have the username password and the email username alphanumeric should be minimum three and max 30 and should be required password that should be following that pattern email should be a minimum two segments and allow the com and the net only okay so this is done the next one we have to validate validate the data so i'm just copying the dummy data or whether you want when we have the api data then you can also validate the same okay then how to validate this one using the schema dot validate so here we have the schema then validate the data which which data we have to validate okay then if the error is coming or not then we have to handling that cases okay so here we have the errors and so dot it show the error else the data is valid okay so let's see what happening to that one so node app.js so here you can see that the data is valid it says okay so if i just remove this one two characters but minimum three letters are added right so it says that the username must length must be of three characters okay so message which is printing on so you have to go with the next one so three so let's see so data is valid now Okay, if I just not adding the com and just adding this one example, then what happened? So email must be a valid email. Okay, you can see that. So this is how we are able to validate the valid, put the validation of your data into your Node.js application. Any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. If you want the advanced version of that one also, you can also let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.